Diana, you're chasing the Mets. Not looking too good after two games of this World Series. What do you got? Well, there are fans, and then there are super fans. Flashing pins, a ringing cowbell, and lots and lots of signs. Nicholas the Pinman, Eddie the Cowbell Man, and Sal the Sign Guy are possibly the most dedicated Mets fans. It takes four hours when I got to change the jersey, you know, to transfer one to another one, so. A Mets fixture for the past nine years. His jersey and hat now hold close to 280 Mets pins. Eddie Bosin's been at it the longest. Now in his 25th year, he leads crowds in his personalized Let's jersey, begging a cowbell. Let's go Mets! Let's go Mets! They need that something that energize to be energized. So when I come in the stadium, once I hit the cowboy, I say, "Let's go, Mets!" Everybody gets into it. How many signs do you have now? Uh, now I'm up to about 50 or 60 signs. Uh, you bring about 30, depending on which game we're at. And Bill, I know you want to know how much they all weigh. They are <laughs> set to weigh close to 75 pounds. <laughs> Now, it hasn't been an easy fight for the Mets. They're down two games to the Kansas City Royals. But if you have to count on some people to remain dedicated to their team, well, you found your three favorite Mets fans. Winning two games don't mean the series is over. You got to win four games. So they have an opportunity to go out there and, and come home and play well. And that's what's important. Just They just need to focus on what the Mets need to do. Go Mets! Let's go Mets! Strength of the Yankee fan. Hey, go play golf. Hey, let's go Mets. So they are staying pumped. Of course they're staying pumped, and they reference history. They say, you know, other teams are down in the past, and we're just going to come back to our home plate, and we're going to take it from there. There's actually some precedent for that. The 86 amazing miracle Mets. Yeah. They lost the first two games to Boston. They lost them at home, um, but they came yeah. back one game three. Bobby Ojeda was pitching, so maybe Noah Syndergaard uh, channeled some of that on Friday, and the Mets get back into it. Yeah, we'll see. When you go to City Field, you're probably not going to run into Jacob DeGrom, but you will meet Pinman and Caldo Man. They're like a part of the institution of the Mets. And they also apply for the Fan Hall of Fame. They didn't get it this past year, but they're hoping that this year will make it their year. All right. Good luck, Mets. We'll see.